Hi, I'm Jennifer Phillips and I'm a children's author and I wanted to talk today about why I picked Nina Costarina as one of my biography subjects for young readers. So this has been my most complicated biography project so far. It took me the most out of my comfort zone and my natural knowledge of um, my subjects and it really made me um, do some pretty serious research and get creative about that. So Nina was a teenager who lived in the Stalin years in Russia. So she was born right after the Russian Revolution and her family was involved in overthrowing the royal monarchy. So they were Bolsheviks. She grew up in the 1920s and the 1930s in Russia and um, in, when she became a teenager, she was involved in the Young Communist Party. And when she became a teenager, she started keeping a diary about her life. She perished during the um, war after Germany invaded Russia because she was one of the young men and women who volunteered to become a guerrilla soldier. And they were dropped behind enemy lines and they would disrupt the Nazi um, um, combat plans and so she was on a mission in December in um, Russia behind enemy lines and she and others in her group perished from a landmine that the Germans had set. But what happened is after the war and um, after the Cold War and after Stalin's death and, and life in Russia started to change some of these diaries started to come out and be published and her family had found her diary after the war she had kept it hidden away and they had just kept it safe for all these years and then in the 1960s her diary was published as a book and it became an international bestseller so her whole story in this window into the world of what Russia was like in that time period and what it was like to try and navigate the the very fragile fragile political world and the economic world of Russia. Um, it came out from this uh, very confident teenager who um, wrote very interesting passages and it, it goes between you um, get a window into what was going on then but you also get a window into what it's like to be a teenager and there were a lot of things that Nina was dealing with as a teenager that we've all dealt with as teenagers if we're older now or teenagers are continuing to deal with. So there are some really universal themes. Anyway, I first found out about Nina when I was browsing a used book sale and I came across an old, worn, thumbed, you know, papers all crinkly um, copy, a paperback copy of her diary. Had never heard of it and just took it home, bought it for I think a quarter and um, read it and just got fascinated and also realized how little I knew about that part of the world and that time period. And so I decided to start doing some research and as I got further and further into it, I decided to try and turn it into a biography. I really have to thank her family who is still in Moscow and I was able through a Russian researcher and a translator to identify and, and connect with her nephew and they provided a lot of family pictures that they had preserved over the years and so I was able to actually put these in the book and I think that's really exciting because when you can see images of a subject and their family and where they lived in their life that just helps bring it um, you know, to the forefront even more. Um, anyway, so I think that Nina's story is just a fascinating read, and you also learn more. You get a dash of history, but told through the eyes of somebody who was living the time period. Um, and she she had a lot of challenges, even though her family um, was connected to the revolution that should have made them safe as Stalin started to become very paranoid and he started to suspect people who had supported him and had supported the revolution. Her family was not safe. Her father was imprisoned for several years in Siberia. Her uncles were imprisoned and some of them disappeared and her family fell apart. The other interesting thing in this biography is the um, constancy of a friendship that she had with um, a young woman and a young man. So the three of them were close friends, but there was also romance involved and there was lots of conflict about the romance. A lot of on again, off again, friendship, romance issues going on. So that plays out in addition to just um, 
Nina and her family trying to survive this very um, volatile time period in Russian history. So I hope you'll give this biography a look. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about Nina. Um, again, I have learned something new from every book I read and every person I read about, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you.